Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for March 27th of 2022 well, it is titled Titan Seas Reflect Sunlight. So what do we see here? Well, an image of the large moon of Saturn known as Titan. And this image was taken back in 2014 with the Cassini spacecraft, which at the time was orbiting around Saturn and studying the ringed planet and its rings and the moons of the planet. Now, the Titan is shrouded in clouds, so we can't see through it to see the surface. So we have to use other means to try to see through those clouds. And that's because ordinary visible light does not penetrate through the clouds. And here we're seeing using infrared light. Infrared light is better able to penetrate those clouds and can give us a view through into uh, or onto the surface of this moon, something we could not normally see. And we see some very bright areas, very highly reflected areas that are reflecting sunlight. So some of the sunlight that does make it through those clouds is then being reflected off these highly reflective surfaces. Now highly reflective surfaces, it's kind of telling us something about the structure of the surface of Titan. And we know that Titan now has great seas of uh, uh, on its surface. So seas not of water as we have here on Earth, but of methane and ethane other compounds that are liquid at the extremely cold temperatures on Titan's surface. So on much hotter temperatures as such as Earth, we get liquid water. Out in the depths of the solar system, we get liquid methane. And the methane fills in and shows the lakes that we see that we can see in uh, images of Titan. Now studying of them tells us that they are going through a methane cycle much as we go through a water cycle. So it would be an active world in terms of its weather much like we have here on Earth. We can see that there has been signs of significant evaporation on the moon. And that means a methane cycle where it would be a rain out the methane which would then flow down through rivers to the lakes and then it would evaporate and continue that cycle so much as we get the same kind of thing with water here on Earth. So trying to study this helps us can help us to better understand our Earth because we get to look at another example of a weather system. Yes, we know it's a little bit different because it's not based on water like ours, but it can still give us some understanding of how these types of systems can work and give us another different view of how things work in the universe. So that was our picture of the day for March 27th of 2022. It was titled Titan Seas Reflect Sunlight. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Stars of the South. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.